In my last video, I showed you how to crash any dark RP server. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to evade any ban on any dark RP or any Gmod server. If you already know how to set up family sharing, quickly skip over to 1 minute and 35 and check the tip of how to evade bans with family sharing. So first you need to go to email on deck, which is a free, no sign up email website. So you need to verify that you're not a robot. And then you have an email. Go to the Steam sign up page and use that email you just received. Go back to email on deck and make sure it's been refreshed. And then you can activate your Steam account. Now that it's been activated, choose a Steam account name that you can remember or you can write down the Steam account name. Once you've found an appropriate password, hit create. Go over to your main Steam account. Go to Steam, settings. If the account isn't on here, what you can do is on the desktop version of Steam, sign out of your main account and then log in with the new account. Then sign out of that new account and go back to this page. And if that doesn't work, make sure you go through the sign up, the official sign up setup page for your profile on Steam, on the new account. Family sharing is pretty common knowledge, but what isn't is that Gmod has a specific way of seeing if you're an alt account. And how it does it is it checks if your family sharing with Gmod. It's very, very basic, pretty obvious. But if you open another game that's been family shared, for example, I'm going to be opening up Projects on my app here. Then I open Gary's mod. The family share system does not detect it. So that's how you can completely evade any sort of family sharing alt account system on a Gmod server. And every single server uses this system. If there's a server that still doesn't let you in and still bans that account, go to your settings page and remove these or remove any additional files that may be in there. 